Hey everyone, welcome back to the Wood Gas Fire Builders Workshop. Hope everybody had a Merry Christmas and enjoying the holidays. Thought this would be a good time to uh, do a little recap of 2022. It's been a, it's been an interesting year for us, a year of, of ups and downs. The year started off with a lot of drama, a lot of tension. But actually this uh, year turned out to be one of our best years ever. Um, uh, and I want to thank all of you for that's provided our support. Uh, we were able to help people with uh, build kits and assemblies and workshops. And, I, and I've got a, a tremendous amount of uh, emails from you that are supporting what we're trying to do. And so I probably ought to thank Ben as well because it was for his uh, uh, attacks on me. It really showed the kind of person and what his motivations are, and it helped direct people to my website, to our YouTube channel, and really allowed me to show people what we're doing and to differentiate ourselves from Ben. Uh, so that's uh, turned out to be a blessing in disguise, I guess, if you would. Uh, so I want to thank all of you, and uh, actually probably ought to thank Ben as well. Um, this has been our best year ever. And we put out a lot of kits. We put out a lot of assemblies. Um, we were able to put out a lot of videos. So... Um, I appreciate that, and I appreciate all the continued support that you're providing us. So despite the sort of rocky start to the year, uh, we were able to put out a lot of videos on the sub-assemblies for the gas fire builds. We were able to increase our documentation, so we've improved uh, our uh, assembly drawings and our documentation. Uh, we've got leak testing documents. I even got a nice uh, user manual now. Uh, we've added warning labels that we're now providing with the kits and the builds. Uh, some people seem to think these are very important to have. Um, so we're making some good progress there. Uh, we've able, we're able to do a lot of hands-on workshops this year. We hope to do more next year, and I'm going to try to set up a fixed schedule because a lot of people ask me when's the next workshop scheduled, and we've just been doing it uh, on demand by appointment or when somebody orders a kit and they want to pick up their kit, we'll do a workshop the day they pick up their kit. But I wanted to get a little bit more formal and maybe have a, a schedule so people can plan to come out to our shop in Deer Park, Washington and uh, do a hands-on workshop. There seems to be a lot of growing interest in that. Uh, the other thing that we've uh, made some good progress on is what I'm calling our Wood Gasifier Builders Network. And um, basically what that is, it's a network of independent builders, uh, experienced welders and fabricators that have built one of our kits, that know how to do these assemblies, and then they want to be able to offer these services to other people. Uh, so regardless of where you're located, in any state, uh, even in the country, uh, we've now, after doing this for uh, uh, six, seven years, eight years, um, we've basically sold kits or assemblies in almost every state, uh, a lot of different countries. Uh, we get inquiries around, from around the world, Canada, South America, Latin America, Asia, Africa, Middle East, uh, the people want to uh, build these kits. And uh, so with the Builders Workshop now, we have a mechanism where you can get trained on how to build these kits and you can offer these services to others. Uh, if you become a, a member of this network, which is free, all you have to do is have built one of our gasifiers and send us proof of a functional working unit. Uh, we'll refer people to you in your locale uh, so that you can offer these assembly services for people in your area. So there's a lot of interest in that. We're working with people. We've got a lot of builders already online, but we're already talking to numerous people. Uh, so if you are an experienced uh, welder or fabricator and you want to be able to offer these services, paid services, you can negotiate a deal with the end customer to put these uh, gas fires together. Uh, we'll be glad to work with you and refer uh, refer these customers to you. Uh, it could be a nice uh, main business or it could be a side business. Uh, but get in contact with me uh, and we'll be glad to help get you set up with that. So thanks everybody again. Uh, like I said it's been a kind of a, a year of ups and downs but turned out to be one of our best years ever. So looking forward uh, into next year, what do we have planned? Basically we're going we're gonna to continue to do videos. We'll do some uh, assembly videos, but we're going to try to add a lot more operational videos, operational videos of running the gas fire, gas fire maintenance, uh, running the engine, 
Uh, we we're just now starting the beta testing on our automated control system. Uh, so we're going to hope to have some several videos around that. It's a it's a modular system that's got a, a, a modular control for the gasifier, uh, for the engine, electronic carburetor, and then a remote display. Uh, we're going to start uh, uh, doing testing on that and hope to be able to release a commercial version of that sometime this year. Um, so we're going to do a lot more workshops, a lot more videos, and a lot more uh, emphasis on trying to develop this builder's workshop so that we can basically educate uh, and, and make a, an effort to get gas fires into the hands of people that need it in a much shorter time frame. So that's our plan. Uh, thanks again, everybody. I really appreciate your continued support. Uh, stay tuned. We've got a lot of uh, very exciting things coming up for next year. Thanks again.